Go ahead, Reem. Hi, Venus. Congrats. Uh, this is Reema Bulleil from Wimbledon.com. Uh, I'd actually like to ask you about your next opponent, Ons Jabur. I know you've practiced with her a few times, and she told me she's very excited to play you. Uh, what can you tell us about your, your relationship with Ons and what you know about her from your practice? Hey, yeah, um, yeah, Oons, I would, I would say is, you know, one of my favorite people on tour. And honestly, she's just breaking down barriers. You know, the first woman from her country to do anything that she's doing. And she just won her first tournament, so she's got to be feeling great. And I just think you're just going to see a whole another generation of women you know, from North Africa or wherever coming into tennis and then it's going to be all owed to her. So I think she's inspiring so many people, including me. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Shahida. Um, congrats, Venus, on your 90th Grand Slam appearance too. Um, obviously, Shahida Jacobs tennis 365. Um, it's been a while since you've won. Um, what kept you motivated? Is it just the love of the game or do you simply play because you know the next win is just around the corner? Uh, I don't know. I answer this question a lot and, you know, good at what I do. You can't win them all. And then life is about how you handle challenges and there's... Each point is a challenge on the court. No one gives you anything. So I like to think that I handle my challenge as well. Reem, did you have a follow-up question? Yes, if that's okay. Just to follow up on, on what you said about Ons Venus, you're someone who also broke down barriers and have done a lot of things that others weren't able to do. And I'm wondering, with what Ons is trying to do for the Arab region, what do you think is is key for her to to succeed in what she's trying to achieve for the region what, what are some of the qualities you need to have or what are some of the things that you feel you've gone through that would you can advise her on to to stay the course yeah i think that she's already doing that she's um gives 100 percent every time uh, she holds herself in a way that she respects and that people can respect and I don't think we can limit her. We can't. You can't limit her to just inspiring women in the Arab region. She's inspiring all kinds of women, including me. And when I see her winning, I'm very happy for her, and I'm, you know, proud also. I mean, obviously we play now, so of course I'd like to win, but uh, there's only great things ahead for her. Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead, George Sessions. Hi, Venus. George from. Yeah, media here. Um, I think a lot of people were sort of disappointed to to see you put on court three, and obviously it was it was court two yesterday. You know, being a five time winner of, of this competition, you hope for it'll be be court one or, or maybe centre court next time. I wasn't disappointed. I was. I'm here to play, and I'm here to play on whatever court I'm put on, and as long as I win on that court, that's all I, I care about. And court three is a quite a nice court. To be honest, I have a lot of great memories on that court in singles and doubles. So. To me, it was like going home and, you know, whatever happens, happens. All good to me. But thank you for your sentiment. Go ahead, Christopher Clary. Hi, Venus. Chris Clary, New York Times. I just You've won so many matches at Wimbledon, so many matches on the grass. What does it mean? to you to win one today? What, what did this match mean to you in particular? Yeah, it was no, it's, it's never easy. Um, I played my opponent today. She played really well, um, some really inspired tennis, and also playing you know, against a lefty is never easy. I think they're probably used to playing against righties, but we're not really used to playing against them. So yeah, that was a challenge as well, especially first match. And so I don't remember the question, but everybody likes winning. Okay, go ahead, Artie. I'm having an Artie from the Times Newspaper. I'm happy to be in the audience. Artie, Artie, we're, ha we're having trouble hearing you, Artie. Can you just check your microphone? Okay, Artie, we're going to go to Liz Clark. We'll come back to you. 
Yeah, you're on mute, Artie. What do you mean? <laughs> Unmute yourself. Yes, I, um, sh shall I go ahead? This is Liz Clark. Go ahead, Liz. Okay. Um, Venus, thank you for being available. It's Liz Clark of the Washington Post. Congratulations um, on your achievement today. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the upcoming pairing in mix with Nick Curios. Um, I, I feel sure he can learn a whole lot from you um in this pairing and i'm wondering if you could elaborate or comment on things you hope to share with him and and if there's anything you're looking to gain from this pairing from him uh, i think that we're playing together because we both rec respect each other's games <laughs> so i think that's first and foremost and um i'm looking forward to the experience and hopefully that will team up better. I'm, that's pretty much what I'm looking out of it. I, I don't, obviously if I have experience to share, I'm always willing to do that with, with anyone who might ask me. So that's always a given and I'm, I'm always open for that. But this is not my goal of this pairing. Uh, I'm hoping we just play well together. <laughs> okay. Um, are there ways in which your games complement one another as, as players, do you think? I mean, I think we're both big servers and we're both really good returners and we both um, can come up with shops, you know, <laughs> so uh, the intangibles are there. So hopefully, hopefully it'll mesh. I mean, obviously we have to earn it. Okay, RT, we'll try again. Yeah, we'll have another go. Um, thank you. Hi, Venus, congratulations. Um, it's great to see players like you still competing when in decades ago it might have been, you know, players are under pressure to retire at a younger age. I'm wondering what you feel like is the future for you in tennis and what do you think has helped you been able to remain a competitor for so long? <laughs> okay. What's my future? Um, I don't think anyone's asked me that in a while, but my future will be on tomorrow when I play another match. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. And I'm also in the mixed doubles, so I'm looking forward to that, and so on, so forth, and what have you. Okay, Nick Zaccardi. Yes, Nick Zaccardi from NBC Sports. Uh, following up on the mixed doubles, Venus, um, are we going to see you in doubles or mixed at the Tokyo Olympics? I don't think so. But I'll be playing here. Okay, any further questions? We will conclude the press conference there. Thank you very much. Bye now. Thank you, Venus. Thank you.